If you're really looking to improve your business, make more money, you definitely want the three book deal. Definitely, because we're going to rock and roll and there's going to be a lot of great stuff. And also I'm going to share some other techniques with you because everyone's just kind of focused on getting stuff, taking it to someone to get it praised when there's so many different elements and features of this business. You know, the mental aspect, because I'm telling you, when you wake up with the winning mindset, you win more times than not. Are you going to win every day? No, but you're going to win most of the time. And if you're winning most of the time, that means you have money most of the time and you really are winning. So that's the deal. So if you want to get into this, today, just sign up. And also, for those folks who are interested, there's one more webinar that kicks off the 23rd. Sustle Mindset is live. You can ask questions, but that's going to be the last one and everything's going to default to blog TV and my other stuff. Hey, this is Glenda with Making Money with Storage Unit Auctions. Yeah, it's been a minute since I wore this shirt, but I know how much I love this shirt. The title of this joint, Making Money with Storage Auctions 2012. The first time I did this video was 2009. Everything was different. There were no TV shows. Essentially, there was just a smattering of information all around the web with storage auctions. So, pretty much for two years, I had the shit to myself, and I loved it. I really did. But things have changed. Not only for me, but for you. What was part of the storage auction culture has changed so much in the last two years that definitely if you're going to get in this business, you have to have a plan. I spent a great deal of time going over the net, reading stuff, and I noticed that there's a ton of bitching and whining and essentially people are having unfulfilled expectations. One of the reasons that the expectations are unfulfilled is they're erroneous to begin with. I am really amazed at how many people put in half-assed effort, but they're, expect they're expecting complete results. They're expecting the best results from a half-hearted effort, from being half-immersed. If you want to be a reseller professional, you're going to have to really jump in. If you just like splunking on the side, and you know you got a full-time job, and you just want to kick it here and there, that's totally different than that's on you. But if you're really looking to make good coin, and when I say good coin, I mean six figures or more, you're gonna have to jump in and create a business. You, you will have to have strategy. You will have to have a business plan, and you will have to have some loot. The days of going out with 100 bucks and getting five or six units, it's over. It's not coming back. It's not coming back. One of the first things that you need to do before you even embark on this as an endeavor, whether it's part-time or full-time, is decide how much skin you're going to put in the game. Because I get a lot of emails, it's like, hey, you know, I have the situation, I'm thinking like, what would you do in this type of situation? I get like roughly anywhere from 200 to freaking 300 emails a day. I'm sorry, you know, those kind of answers for, to, for those questions are in the playlist watch the videos and also if you're going to contact me go to the blog and go to the contact form because the people who do that get a much quicker response because if you're just like putting stuff all over the place or you putting stuff in a place that it's not related I'm just going to delete it or ignore it seriously because you're a dumbass but anyway back to the topic to be really successful and you still can be successful and you can still make money because there are many many things that people completely ignore first of all if you're thinking about getting into this business and the shows led you to me or got that juice and you rolling understand that that's not a business model that's a television show what they show you is great it's fun it's entertaining that's what it's designed for and it's very successful in that realm however if you're going to go out and start buying units know that what you see on television is going to be a radical departure from your experience in real life and that's where a lot of this has this this these broken expectations and bitching and whining is popping off from because people are like, I'm supposed to get a good unit. I'm supposed to buy a unit and everything's crap and there's that one little thing in there that's gonna make me a lot of money because I go take it to someone and get it checked out. Yes, that's what I do. No, that's not what you do. What you do is you build a robust business. Uh, I have a lot of students, people that took my first webinar. 
all this other stuff who are doing well now. But they've got two going on three years in the game. It takes time to build up your business. So if you're like, have this thought process that you're gonna get into storage auctions and you're gonna go out there and you're gonna get this great unit and you're gonna get it really quick and you're gonna make a lot of money quick, you're a dumbass. This is what's gonna happen. You're gonna go out, you're gonna see a lot of crap. You're gonna go out, you're gonna see things that you don't even wanna take into your house. You're gonna go out and you're gonna like, damn, why am I out here? You really need to understand there's a great deal of effort, trial and error, and pain. Pain being losing money, your back, and taking shit to the dump. That is the lifestyle of a storage auction hunter. Now, if I haven't scared you off, the upside is you make it past that, you can truly find treasure. You can find great stuff. You can find wonderful stuff that just hardly anyone else ever comes across. You know, your Mondays will truly be like Christmas, but the thing is, you are going to work your ass off to make that happen. You're going to be moving stuff. And also, you know, this is just a free tip. If you're going to start a store, I'm going to tell you straight up from me to you, get your warehouse situation together first. For more information, you'll have to sign up for Mother Deal. But telling you that is more pivotal in the storefront that's more pivotal than where you place the store because i see it all the time because the way this business works also for those of you who are like really want to get into business i've created something new got a blog talk tele television nah, well it's not a television show but it's a uh, internet show the hustlers mindset that kicks off uh, the 26 and i'm gonna be doing like a lot of stuff like the first thing i'm gonna do is go through my videos go through videos like from 2009 and the ones that are relevant I'm not gonna go through all of them but the ones that talk about business advice stuff that's already there and I'm just gonna expand on it a little bit you could pop in whenever you want to uh, I think they record the shows because I'm still kind of messing around in there but it's gonna be really hot now if you're ready to rock and roll this is the deal I have this offer if you're ready to rock and roll Below, you get the three book deal before the end of the month, you get the good stuff. You get the videos about how to conduct sales, how to do forecasting, stuff that I will never talk about here on YouTube because I have learned that there are some people who, you know, just give you an example, like the people who bitch about the ads. I have a 17 year old kid who watch videos and is making money, who doesn't have a car. Actually, I'm gonna send the young man some books because I like his hustle. I really like his hustle. And I got grown ass men who are like, man, I don't wanna watch that ad. Just give me the information. Let me tell you something about yourself. And you're not gonna like me and you're probably gonna unsubscribe. If you're bitching about an ad when you're getting great proven information for free, that pretty much means you're a loser. And this is why you're a loser. You were never going to do anything with the information to begin with. Like in that movie Collateral with um, Jamie Foxx and um, God, you know, forget his name and I can see his, his face but you know the guy. You know the guy. Tom Cruise. And they're in the limo and Jamie's like, yeah, I'm going to shape this up because I want to start this limo. And, he's, and he said that. He said, you were never going to do this to begin with. How much is a lease? 400 bucks a month? That's the deal. There's two groups of people in this world. Those who do things and those who talk about doing it. So all the whining just needs to stop because like I said, I don't really get into what you guys anymore. I just delete your comments and move on because there's a whole nother group of people who are benefiting tremendously. And I'm gonna tell you, that it rocks my world when I wake up in the morning and I look at my email and I was like, man, you know, I've been watching you for six months. I've been watching you for two years and, you know, I was laid off and just watching you every day help me get through that period. I'm focusing on those other folks. And if for you whiners, you scared little bitches, just go somewhere. Unsubscribe, move on, cut your throat, trip and fall, break your neck and die. Just go away because you're, you're polluting the positive energy because you don't really have anything to contribute because you're a scared little bitch. And I'm sick of you. I'm really, there's like one, I just wish you would just go. Seriously. But anyway. <laughs>
<laughs> that's my rant for the morning. We're going to get into a lot of stuff about the sales technique because another reason that I was successful in the storage auction business was I was an outside salesperson. I actually worked for three years, 100% commission. If you've ever done that before, you know that's pretty hard. But it's a great job to set you up for having your own business. Because you know if you don't work, you don't eat. There's no vacation. There's no paid time off. There's No, no. You need to get your ass out there and make it happen or you're not going to have any money. So for me, having a business is not as scary because when you're a, you know, work on 100% commission, you're self-employed. You're self-employed. No one looks over you. No one comes checking on you. You know, if you got a quota and you don't make your quota, they may get rid of you. But for the most part, you get to do what you want, how you want. As long as you meet your obligations, you're free. So that's a lot of stuff that I'm going to instill, like sales techniques, marketing, all that stuff. But that's going to be on the other side. You know, get a little hint here. You know, I'll give you a little lettuce. You know, maybe pop out an onion or two here and there. But the reality is most of that stuff's going to be for the folks who care. Now, from the top, <laughs> the only people who are getting in right now before I raise the price are the folks who buy the three book printed deal. Printed, not ebooks doesn't count. That's the cutoff. You have to buy the three ebooks. I mean, the, sorry, you have to buy the three books. And if you bought them on Amazon, send me a picture with a current newspaper and I'll put you in. If you can't do that, you're not getting in. I don't want to hear that Fido ate your book. I don't know. Don't want to hear it. Because we're going to rock and roll. Because one of the things that I've learned from all the businesses that I've had that sales lead the way. I don't care what you do. If you're going out of business, it's not because you're stupid. It's not because your business plan sucks. You don't have enough sales. That's what makes everything jump. Because I work for this company, run the crate, and I keep referencing back because honestly, that was like one of the best jobs I ever had because it set me up for so many things because Michael Shanley, one of the owners of the company, was like, this is a direct sales organization and everything else is just support. And a lot of people are like, no, 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 you, we work here and we're important. Without sales, nothing happens. And that's going to be your deal. You know, whether you're buying storage auction, whether you're picking, treasure, whatever. Without sales, you don't get the capital unless you're just some rich so-and-so that can just blow money fast. It's not going to happen. So I'm going to impart that stuff to you and I'm going to do a lot about customer relationship management software. The stuff is huge. Really, really, really huge. So that's kind of, you know, the overview of what you want to do because you can still make money in 2012. It's not as easy as it was in 2009. It's surely not as easy as it was in 2002. It's not. Those are facts. That is the reality. I'm not going to blow a lot to you. I'm not going to blow crap up your ass and go, yo, yo, it's real. No, it's not easy. I was often advised by people I didn't even know, don't tell people it's that hard. Do you, I'll tell you something that happened to me in a unit once. I bought this unit up in Alpharetta and I was still new. Didn't know people pack units all crazy. Now, pull this box, right? There was a freaking canoe up top. Didn't know the canoe was up top. Pull this box, the canoe comes down, shoom, right across my head. And fortunately, I just kind of went with it and it just fell on the ground and the canoe just went past me. That could have knocked me the frick out. You don't lie to anyone when you know that some of these units can literally be dangerous. You know, be careful when you're unloading them because people do crazy stuff I don't understand. That's the reason I have all these stories. Is I'm just like, God, how the hell did they load this thing? So that's the thing. All right, this is Glendon with Making Money with Storage Unit Auctions.